of you know that it is thanks to the love and support of this community that we were able to build a village for special needs children out in Tanzania. That village now provides a safe and loving home to nearly 200 children that were living in crisis. Most of these children are special needs, but a lot of these children were homeless and the majority have no parents or guardians in this world other than the family that this community has allowed us to create. Everything that we do to support these children is made possible by this community and those who choose to share what they can and get involved and become, as I often call it, in their own way, a percentage of the parental role for these little ones. For those of you who are already partnering with us, thank you for the love and support. But for those of you who don't know about it, everything that we do is made possible thanks to partners. Those who choose to partner with our family and with it make everything that we do possible and keep our doors open for the next children who need some help or a safe and loving family home. If you'd like to hear more about our partnership programme, you can do so by visiting www.sharetanzania.com forward slash partnership. Thank you for all of the love and support, guys. We couldn't do this without you. God bless. A lot of people write me and ask for prayer to pray about a situation for themselves for loved ones and there is a power to praying for others and I will speak into that shortly but I feel it's important to speak into prayer because it's such a huge topic that's largely misunderstood and it's a tool that we all need in this world. I'm going to say something bold. Prayer is about hacking the source code and that source code is the generous heart of God. Prayer is about hacking the source code. Most human beings, they when they have a situation in front of them. They pray to God about the situation. They speak to God about the situation. But prayer that has power is where you speak to the situation about God or on behalf of God. There's a, a huge difference, of course. When you have a problem in your life in front of you, the traditional religious habit we all have is to say, please dear God, do something about that. Please dear God, help me with this. And this is okay to speak to God. This is fine. But the real power of a human, the real authority of prayer comes when you have that problem and you are able to speak to that problem about the power of God on behalf of God. And of course, it's just the polar opposite. Now, I say you have to hack the source code and the reason most of us don't speak with authority to a situation, be it that you are speaking to a negative entity that is troubling somebody be it that you are speaking to a situation that just seems out of control, someone's in a, a, a nosedive of, of 
corruption into the flesh or into behaviors that are just hurting others and themselves when you face that the difference between a human who speaks to it with authority and one who speaks to God about it is profoundly important because one prayer from all I have seen is largely a 3d prayer and the other prayer is a 5D prayer. Now I'm going to use language that many may not have heard around prayer here. When we are in a human body in the 3D realm, a small proportion of the consciousness, the soul essence that we are, is able to be in the body meaning a large proportion of who we are in the realm of soul is not fully in the body meaning there is more of you further away in other dimensions than just in the 3d when a human is in the fallen state this is the 3d adam and eve the fall of man it's the fall into this 3d way of functioning they are used to, in that space, controlling everything. They are used to, in that space, analyzing everything and being in the driving seat. Their personal history, their personal self is the one that's going to determine what they do in each given day based upon analysis and intellectual uh, uh, evaluation. This is, this is it. This is how people function. In that space you are largely 3D and in that space there is not any more space in your body, in your frequency, in your energy body, your frequency of the way you are functioning for more of what you truly are, more of the consciousness, the soul essence of what you are to be present in the 3D. When you get untangled from that 3D self, when you get free from the notion that you are a personal history and a personal image of who you are built on top of that in your mind. You begin to open up to allow more presence of spirit in your life and the supernatural in your life, which is ultimately your body, allowing more of the higher dimension element of your soul in. And when we were in Eden before the fall, you could say that that state of consciousness where we were led by a spontaneous, unpredictable, nurturing, wise guidance system of love here and now, not a personal history and a personal self and its evaluation, that we were in 5D here. Metaphysically, metaphorically, you were in 5D in Adam and Eve consciousness the fall is coming to 3D. When we are able to truly align with the Spirit of God, with the Spirit of that true love, that true unconditioned love, not the love that most have believed they know, not emotional love or attachment love or psychological love, something more, something far vaster, and that love is, is witnessed with being very honest of the situation of I love you and I need nothing from you. I love you, I want nothing, I love you and I expect nothing. And this love can be exposed in your life through scenarios like meeting the most vulnerable human you've ever met. You meet them and you know there's nothing they can give you, there's nothing to expect from them and you just love them and expect, want and need nothing. And if you stay with that love that is exposed there and you reflect it against your other love in your life, you will see how corrupted your other love is. Corrupted by the personal separate self, the structure in the mind, the 3D matrix you, the one that sets you in enslavement to the 3D and away from the 5D truth of what you are, the spirit man, the supernatural you, the true power of a human. And so when you know that love, 
that reborn state of consciousness you will find that in that space you are able to bring in more of the soul essence of what you are, the consciousness and this allows you to start evolving back toward a 5D life which is a spirit-led life, a supernatural life and when you are knowing that love, that true connection to source which is free of the personal self and its interference there when you face a situation the way by which you pray tends to shift because now you you seem to pray with authority at the situation to it you speak to it knowing that within you is the power and the love of God as the 3d you the power and the love of God is mostly an agreement of the mind and so the mind agrees to it but doesn't know it doesn't feel it in its cells the, the, the vessel doesn't feel it in its cells driving it forward still it is driven forward by the operating system of the 3d self by analysis and the personal me and so people have religiously kept that operating system and have not transformed and prayed and taken the teachings of men like Yeshua which were perfect and made them into a 3D religion instead of making them into a transformation to become 5D beings when we become spirit led we are hacking the source code and what I mean by that is when the body and the soul is no longer playing with the 3D personal history, personal self, analyzing everything, intellect only it is instead surrendering into the source code that this reality is founded on and in surrendering and yielding into that source code it is like you are hacking the source code to collect the power of the source code the power of spirit and thereby when you come into a situation and you have some problem some darkness some issue in your life some mountain to to climb then you speak to it now with power with authority because you feel that you have absorbed the power of spirit you feel that you have opened up and hacked the source code and now the source code comes into you and is a power that you can use in your prayer the human who doesn't feel the source code coming into them doesn't feel the power of spirit coming into them will not pray like that they will not have that authority to dare to do that most will feel unworthy to speak with that authority even due to religious uh, programming a lot of the time and so now when you see a mountain in your life which we will face all of us constantly throughout life you are going to have challenges there is no simple easy life you're going to be scarred you're going to be wounded if you're going to bring light into this world you are going to war with dark and it will push back it will push back against you you can't escape it you will be protected by spirit by the light but it is not a guarantee and so as you bring light without fear know that it will push back and you will be scarred and wounded but now when you see your mountain and perhaps you need to bulldoze this mountain and just get it out the way perhaps you see a problem and it just needs to be bulldozed perhaps you see people suffering and you know somewhere in you that you can bulldoze and eradicate that with some way instead of getting on your knees and saying God please get in this bulldozer and flatten this mountain for everybody you absorb through hacking the source code the power of source and you get in the bulldozer with confidence and authority and you take care of the situation and this 
reflects on the difference in prayer that I'm speaking of in this sense. It is not that you pray with malice and anger, it is that you pray with absolute knowing, absolute belief, faith, absolute confidence in the power of God, not wishy-washy. And it is there that prayers truly are heard and moved and answered. And I have seen it endlessly over and over. There are limits to that. There are limits because God has integrity and set forth from the generous heart all of creation, infinite potential, free will, with law. For it to have meaning, for it to matter, for it to not just be a simulation. And so God remains with the integrity of that law. That's why, unfortunately, we have many who abuse free will for selfish ambition, selfish desire. But the law is set in place and out of integrity alone, it does not alter, it does not change. This is how we are to hack the source code, is to embody our 5D self, is to embody the spirit man that we are. And there when you pray, you speak to the problem, not to God about the problem. Now this is a form of prayer, and I mention praying for others. This is where healing takes place. I have seen miraculous healings, but most frequently I have seen them in coherence, because this 3D reality is distorted. There are things that must change in the quantum level of this reality. It upstream in the field of light of this reality. Things must change up there in the quantum as, as we can label it perhaps to be able to change it in the physicality here and now. Many, well, two years ago, a being of light, a benevolent being, prodded me here. I told YouTube about this, that I'd been prodded in my liver here and felt pain in the meditation as it happened, but I'd never felt the pain there. Six weeks after I told YouTube, I got pain again and began to pass gallstones. More than a hundred stones left my body. I don't really understand what I was detoxing out of my body there. I feel there's some spiritual element to passing this heaviness from my being. But they altered it in the river of light upstream and it took some time to flow into the 3D realm. Coherence, healing, is something I have seen. Where many get in a room, in a church setting or in a, a setting of healing and love, and in an open heart and a trust, and sending the image of the healing to the person, the person becomes healed. You have hundreds of people in a church who utterly believe in the power of Christ, and the person becomes healed. It is happening. It's happening out there. This is coming into a space where en masse, many have hacked the source code, brought it forward into the 5D self, the spirit self, and altered the 3D code of the matrix from the lower code of the source code, which is in the realm of spirit. And this change takes place due to an immense hacking, a collective hacking of the source code, delving through the code of the 3D that we are caught in, which is corrupted at present. We are in a world that has fallen. We are in a world that has been afflicted by the fallen angels, as many have called them. They have afflicted and written their own codes over the source code, but thank, f thankfully we are humans, and humans have the capacity to connect to source. They don't. They no longer can connect to that highest of dimension, the Christic. We can. They cannot access I love you and need and want and expect nothing from you. We can. When you meet the most vulnerable human you ever have, speaking briefly from personal experience, you die and this immense love is there. I love you, I need, want, expect nothing. You die and Christ 
that immense love is born, as it says in the Bible. Hacking the source code, viewing it that way, if the language works for you, is filling your body with the power of spirit. And therefore you see the colossal difference in the way you relate to God by understanding the way that you pray. If you are the sort of human who is constantly saying, God, please fix this and it doesn't happen, then perhaps you need to start filling your vessel with the power of spirit. Perhaps you need to start finding a way to be in that presence. And that presence is born inside you when there is space for it to be born. And that means that first thing that must happen is that you must find a way to stay in that presence. Many of us are under the notion that spirit or God comes to those that are pure. But that's not so. It is when the, the soul and the mind and the heart has finally seen this personal history and personal self is a dreadful master. When it finally sees that and accepts that it can't do it, there God is waiting, not because you are pure, because you are not at that point at all, but to lead you to purity. And so finding that space whereby we reject the arrogance of the personal history, personal self structure operating system is where we start to fill up the tank of hacking the source code. Because in that space, all of a sudden, you begin to shift operating systems from 3D because you are rejecting the 3D operating system and it's a lure and it's arrogance and it's pride and you are surrendering and yielding to a new operating system, the will of God. The 5D is born in that will. The will is born in the 5D. And so you, you yield in that space and piece by piece the, the presence of that new operating system will lead you further and further out of the 3D operating system. And as it leads you out of the 3D you, you will live persistently more and more pure. Because the fulfillment of the present of the 5D is so fulfilling, so overwhelming, so joyous, so satiating, that when you move back to the 3D, you see that you are being offered an empty box in exchange for a full one by moving from the spirit man into the 3D, the flesh man. And so the more you move in purity, the more you will anchor or hack the source code and bring that power into you. And the more you will see that what you pray at changes the more you will see that which you speak to changes. Biblically, the Bible says, as Jesus was in this world, so are you. Jesus said, greater works than I you will do, for I will have gone to the Father. We are followers of the way when we choose that higher love. But in that way, things are revealed. A few years ago, I did not have the abilities I have now. Things were revealed as I was mature enough to use them. As I embraced more and more fulfillment of my vessel with access to the source code, because I was anchoring more of my soul essence in the body, the more I progressed and separated from the 3D structures of the enslavement to the 3D matrix. There you begin to alter, fill with the power and use it in your prayer. So you need to turn away from the 3D and choose the will of that other operating system, the spontaneous, unpredictable, highest of love, the Christ, the Christic. You have to find a way to stay in that presence, to fill yourself with that power. And you have to walk in purity. So as you do not in your frequency and your vibration, separate from fulfilling yourself with the source code in exchange for the hacked, overlaid, fallen code of the fallen angels, which many are living in persistently and all of us have delved within in our lives. The source code, the code that is based on top of it from a hyper-spiritual intelligence we can call the fallen ones. 
Many are, are drinking from this lesser cord and with it selling their essence to the fallen instead of fulfilling from the source. If we all do that, if we all did that, we would have seven billion Christs on this planet. For seven billion humans would die to their 3D operating system. And therefore seven billion humans would then be moved by the spontaneous, unpredictable, present moment, eternal now, operating system of that highest, untainted, unconditioned love that comes when personal history is not present in the moment. It comes when you die. And I've died hundreds of times as we've rescued children and walked in and found the most vulnerable site. All of your selfish interest that has been creeping in, it dies. And that love that is, is profound, the love of Christ is there, it's with you. You die, Christ is born. And there, piece by piece, I see the power growing in my life and the lives of others. And that power, ultimately, rises to a point where you no longer speak to God about your problems, you speak to your problems as or about the power of God with that present within you. Because you're filled up by hacking the source code. But the source code can't fill a body that's filled with personal meanness and, and its activities in the fallen source code. The worship of the world the pursuit of selfish ambition over the will of the Christic and its love that knows no condition. The 5D human, the spirit man, the supernatural you. I will leave it there, I guess. Have a blessed Sunday. God bless everyone. Thank you for all that you do to make our family possible and to bring that love into the world.